Okay guys uh, and girls, uh, so I'm going to quickly show you how to trigger things from VR. So uh, what I've done is I have set up a teleport uh, system. I say I've set it up, I've actually watched a tutorial telling me how to set it up and then stolen a lot of materials off uh, GitHub from uh, HTC Vive. Uh, Steam. So uh, I shall put a link to the the gentleman's video where I learnt this. In case you have more, if you'd like to actually know how to set up teleport systems yourself, this is the teleport system that comes with uh, the Steam demos, the HTC Five demos. Uh, but for some reason, it's needlessly complicated setting this up. So here's something else you're not supposed to do: is you. I've got this scene that I previously set up. So uh, I'm going to copy out the important parts of the uh, VR uh, control system. So the camera rig, the nav mesh, and the pointer. Press Control C. Go to my new scene, which is Kentucky VR, which is what where we're going to be fiddling. Uh, and I shall just go to the hierarchy window, press Control V, and then you have uh, your camera rig in the scene somewhere. So let's have a look, it's over here. Okay, so I'm going to just get this up into the right position. Get rid of the main camera, don't need that. So. So it, this also seems to be the size of the universe. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, I'm going to add that to that, and then I'm going to scale everything at once. So I've just added my trigger, my Kentucky Derby trigger, uh, to the actual Kentucky Derby uh, object, and I'm now scale. Okay. Okay, so that's good. So the uh, the reason I'm scaling it all at once is obviously so I can keep the the trigger box uh, correctly proportioned with it. So let's also scale this to the size of the universe. Okay, there we go. Right, so I'll show you why I'm doing this in a minute. So if we can find the camera rig again, so that's the uh, that's the VR camera rig. That is required for us to be able to operate VR. Okay, so the thing I need to do here is for the teleport to work properly, I need to go over to my navigation settings, which I think you trigger from down here. Go to my navigation settings, uh, and so I've got this floor object selected. So I want to make this a navigation static. Uh, and I want to bake this, okay? So I don't know what any of this means, but it looks complicated and exciting. But let's just bake it. Okay, so you can now see that we've got this blue area, which is our navigable mesh. So if I run this, we should be able to teleport. Uh, but what I'm going to do is I am going to um, just save it here because I'm going to need to plug the headset in. Okay, so I'm just getting my headset out, which gives all the banging. Just put that back in there. Uh, so I've just put my headset on, I'm just going to pick up my controller, so I should be able to teleport. Uh, so I can't teleport over there because the nav mesh um, has recognised this as an object, so it means that I can't walk into it. So I teleport, and what we'll note now is that I've teleported into the trigger box. And so it's it's triggered the animation. Uh, there seems to be quite a lot of floating balls. Um, uncertain why that's happening. Uh, so what it's doing is looping that animation. But uh, I'll just quickly talk you through why. Um, so we didn't have an off trigger for this. So the animation will keep going. Um, but the reason I can teleport into there and it'll trigger is because of the fact that I've added a rigid body component to the camera in Unity. So what I'll do is I'll just go back to the desk because I'm currently in the VR headset. Okay, hang on. So, 
If we have a look at the uh, the headset's not tracking because I've just moved out of the line of sight of the base stations. So if we have a look at the camera rig, this is the, the provided camera rig. Go to inspector, you'll notice I've added a rigid body. And this only seems to work uh, if you add it directly to the camera rig, not to any of the components. So there you go. I've put it on is kinematic so it doesn't fall through the floor. Um, and so, yeah, it's as simple as that really. That's how you activate animations. Uh, so looking forward to see what you do with it.